Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. Dear, this is Coogan Cassis for Arco TV in association with MTK Global. Well, we're about. This is it, baby. This is it. Hour and a half? Hour and 20 minutes Hour till lift off. About to put the whistle on. We've just crept upstairs into the ballroom of the matchroom boxing. Is this what this is? It's a, well, obviously. Obviously, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. A bit windy. It's supposed to die down, but ready to go, mate. Nervous. A bit sad, really as well that it's the last one, do you know what I mean? But I'm looking for a cracker tonight to sign off and I really think we're going to get it. So have you spoken to Dillian today? Or not today, no. No? Is no. there any reason for that you don't usually talk to No, your not really. I mean, some fighters want to talk to you and they want, you know, sometimes they just like to chat because they're bored. He's obviously got a lot of people around him. Um, unusual for me to speak to a fighter on the day unless I'm around the hotel with them and, you know, might bump into them. But, you know, so everyone's different. I mean, Carl Froch used to love me talking to him because he would, he, for some reason, Carl wanted reassurance, you know, like about the fight and stuff. He loved to talk about it and sort of, but most people were chilled. You know, we saw Dillian, well, yesterday and obviously last night in a bubble. So, you know, he doesn't need me to tell him to knock a geezer spark out. He does it for fun. So he should be arriving in a couple of hours. Fighters are starting to arrive now. And uh, 7 p.m., we're good to go. I know it's uh, not risky, but I know you'd already be thinking about tomorrow, mm. if you like, and what you're going to do if, should he come through, and mm. he does come through tonight. But what, I mean, from tomorrow onwards, I'm assuming you're just going to go do everything you can to kind of push these issues on the WBC. Yeah, that's done. I mean, the hard work on that is done. Like, it's impossible to go back on that, you know, with what we've got in writing from them. So... I think that hard work's done. All he's got to do now is take this opportunity and, and win tonight. Um, for us, you know, they've made it quite clear the negotiations will start following the Wilder Fury fight. Now, if Wilder doesn't fight Fury, we'll be pushing for that to happen now. But as Dillian says, like, this is such a dangerous, risky fight. We'll worry about that tomorrow. Tonight is all about getting through that. And, you know, it was a big, big challenge getting this over the line with no crowds. We all know that. You can kind of do a show with smaller names, you know, for smaller purses and just about survive. But what you can't do is do big names, you know, undisputed fights, world heavyweight number ones, interim world championships, etc., etc., without a crowd. And we've managed to do it. And I'm really pleased. And, you know, it's been a huge success. And what we're seeing today, the interest, the numbers, you know, touch wood, it's going to be a monstrous night. So um, just hope he gets the win. Hope Katie gets the win. and. You know, hopefully uh, we can celebrate tonight. Josh uh, is obviously working for Sky tonight. Yeah, he's coming in 15 minutes. Is he really? Yeah. Okay. He won't be over the moon with the early start, but... No, you know. does he not know it starts at 10? <laughs> probably, probably not, otherwise he might not come at 6 now in there, but he'll be here. But are you, obviously you, when you speak to him, do you not, when you mention about the possibility of what you were telling us the other mm -hmm. day about if White is elevated to WBC mm -hmm. full champion, then... That's the fight will be. That's the fight. That he's not really on. talked about. It. I just, you know, I've represented him for seven years, so I know what he's always wanted, and I know what he wants. And you know, it was never about fighting Deontay Wilder. It was about the WBC world title and proving himself as the best. Now it's about Tyson Fury because he has the WBC world title, and some people think he's the best. Some people think Joshua's the best. So that's the, the ambition for Anthony Joshua. If Dillian White is WBC champion, he'll want to fight Dillian White and win that final belt. So these are all things that are going to play out. As I said, tonight is like the first piece of or part of unlocking that jigsaw. And we'll know a lot more after tonight. We won't know everything, but we can start the wheels in motion to see where the end of 2020 takes us and where 20, what, 2021 might look like. I mean, regardless of what people think, Joshua wouldn't want Dillian to lose tonight, would No, he? but he's, you know, I'm not saying he thinks Povetkin's going to win, but I think he's... I don't. I think he's unsure. You know, I think he thinks that Pobetkin has a fantastic chance, um, but he does rate Dillian White. You know, and I think that um, 
he just thinks that Povetkin is very good and very well scored, and he thinks it's going to be a really good close fight. I think probably that thinks it could go either way. So they're not going to get around each other like are they? Well, they can't. The good, AJ's in the non-tested area, so he shouldn't go in that area anyway. And the only way he'd be able to get in there is if he jumped the fence and probably went by security. So no, you know, they don't need to get near each other. They can see and talk to each other from where they are. You know where the presentation thing is. You know, hello, mate. That's about how you'd have to talk for each other to hear each other. So it's not going to be difficult for them to... Can Dillian go to AJ? No. No. We don't want that. You know, look, there's... Yeah, you do. No, we don't. Look at What you'll get will be enough. But let's get the win first. Do you know what I mean? Like, and AJ's not here to have confrontation with Dillian. And Dillian's not going to want to have confrontation with AJ. Don't get me wrong. If someone says anything, who knows? But... Um, there's going to be a lot of questions after, you know, and it's that's why AJ's here. AJ's here because Sky want him to work tonight, but he's also here because he wants to see the fight, and he's interested. He might be fighting one of them, so you know. Why? Why didn't you like invite like Fury to this? Why wouldn't you invite Fury to this? One because uh, I'm not sure whether he would be not allowed, but whether he'd want to come. Would he feel like? He's sort of putting himself in the mix for Wyatt and he's trying to make himself clear that he's not interested in Dillian White. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, okay. obviously he's with BT. Not that we wouldn't have a BT fighter on, but obviously you invite the fighters that you know are on the platform and AJ is, you know, regardless of what people think, by far the biggest star. So, he's the number one choice. He's a Sky ambassador, you know, so it's pretty obvious. But he's, he would have been welcome to come. You've invited him to shows in the past, haven't you? Yeah, he's come, but he, he's blocked me on Twitter. So, still blocked? Yeah, still blocked. He blocked me about six months ago. Don't know why, but he still phones me every now and again. You'll have to ask him if he can unblock me from Twitter. Oh, when's the last phone conversation you had with him? I missed a call from him, and then I called him back, and he didn't pick up. And that was about two weeks ago. Hmm. Always well, interesting to know what goes through his head when he's... Uh... Uh, he goes on a spree. I think he phones everybody he knows. So, yeah, I'll, so... I'll get one of them. So you announced yesterday that all your 400 and what 433 tests? tests, yeah, all yeah. negative. So that's good news. That's not just good news for us and for boxing. I think that's good news for the country, you know, that we've had that many tests and no negatives. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. And now it will be interesting to see the procedures and the regulation that the British Boxing Border Control put into place moving forward. Do we have to do tests? Because actually you don't have to do tests now. The government do not insist on testing for sporting events anymore. So yeah. It's, yeah, it's down to the regulations, i.e. the British Boxing Board of Control. And we, you know, having gone through this protocol, hopefully in September, we don't have to do tests anymore. So there's been no issues, no dramas today? No, nothing today. I mean, the part, apart from the wind, but it looks to be dying down. Everyone's ready, mate. It's a massive night. You know, it's the return of big time boxing after the pandemic. It's a cracking card. Everything looks hunky-dory. I think there's going to be a lot of drama and upsets tonight. I don't know whether that comes in the two big fights or across the three but are or whatever. Really upset, so that's no, the not really. I mean, who's the biggest outsider? Povetkin at three to one or seven to four, nine to four, whatever he is. So that's a, a slight outsider. You know what I mean? So, but Dillian's a favourite. I think Katie's a slight favourite. But both of those fights could go either way. And do we think really Taylor's going to get the win and, and White's going to get the win without drama? No. So hold on to your fucking hats. Just give me the timings quickly so people know. Okay, 7pm, we're alive on Sky Sports, main event, Action and Sky One. You've got half an hour of free view. Don't get too greedy. We're only going to show you about two or three rounds of Cullen against Chelly. Warm you up with a little bit of war in there early. Then we're going to go to the encryption, 7.30, Sky Sports box office. Then you'll get about the other eight rounds of Cullen Chelly. They will go to war. Then around 8 p.m., you're going to get Babich against Winters, heavyweight dust up, the Savage, is he the real deal? And then about 8.45, you're going to go Clay against Congo. 9.30-ish, you're going to get Taylor Pursoon 2, the rematch. And then around 10.15, 10.30, you're going to get White Povetkin. So I hope you enjoy it. It's been a huge task putting this together. Don't forget we have no crowd, which has been a big, big challenge to get this together. So we appreciate your support. And as I said, the numbers are looking fantastic. Let's hope they continue to fly in. And we have a great night and we give you entertainment. 
The fighters are safe, and we have loads of drama and a night we'll never forget. You were trending again yesterday. Was I? Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't mean to do it, but I just seem to make a tit out of myself on a regular basis. I just said on an Instagram post this morning, like, someone, someone posted again, Hearn is making a mockery out of boxing. It's like, mate, I'm just doing a little karaoke song. I mean, if you can't enjoy yourself, what's the point of even being here? Don't take yourself too seriously. If I rated myself so much, do you think I'd make a tit out of myself time and time again? All right, I can sing a little bit so it weren't too bad, but how often do I make a tit out of myself? Non-stop. You know why? Because I don't care. I live my life on myself. You like me, you don't like me. It doesn't matter. I ain't going to lose any sleep on it. You shouldn't think too hard about Eddie Hearn. You know, sometimes you, I'll make you laugh, sometimes you think I'm a prick. Don't really matter. But don't take yourself too seriously. You know, you're never going to get me, oh, mate, I'm not doing that. Oh, no, no, not doing that. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine, you know, someone else getting up there in a the bubble and doing a little bit of uh, Ain't No Sunshine when she's gone? With your own added lyrics. Yeah, exactly. But look, mate, at the end of the day, you know, not to put a too fine a point on it, we're all going to end up in the ground, right? So enjoy yourself while you're here. That's what matters. Otherwise, you're going to sit there in your last few days and go, fuck me, I was a miserable bastard. I didn't even really enjoy life. I was bitter, I moaned a lot. So, in, you know, spend time with your family, love your life, love what you do, and enjoy yourself. Don't take yourself too seriously. As, as We're all the same. Josh Denzel didn't do yesterday. No, well, he had a bit of a man, but, you know, thankfully I've got a decent voice. Shout out, Josh Denzel. Eddie Hearn, we'll catch you after the fight. Cheers, guys. Do really appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Because I, I, well, I won't bring you down too far.